Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have a package. This package comes to us from Treasure Studio Arts. I keep call, wanting to call it Treasure Art Studios, but it's Treasure Studio Arts. Um, I kept getting people saying, oh, you have to try this company. You have to try it. So I was like, you know what? Fine, fine, fine. I'll try it. So I did. I ordered something. Now, as I get into it, I ordered this June 22nd. It shipped out because uh, from what I was told, they make their canvases like to order, like their MTO, made to order. So she doesn't just have canvases just chilling around. Um, I guess the lady that runs the company or is HR or whatever, her name is Rachel. Uh, not to be confused with our very own Rachel Ray. But uh, yeah, they make these to order. So I'm guessing that might have been why it took so long. Um, but I ordered it June 22nd. It shipped July 1st. And then it literally just got to me today. Uh, today is July 25th. So it took 24 days after shipping to get to me. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I've had canvases get to me from AliExpress a lot quicker so I'm not sure what the hang-up was uh, after like a couple of weeks I actually went to go check the shipping and when I did it was weird I got a email from the lady Rachel saying about you know we noticed you just checked your shipping I check it as well uh, sometimes things can get hung up in China and I'm like uh, okay kind of like some big brother stuff going on but uh yeah it's a 30 by 50 square that I ordered, and I'm not sure if you will be able to see it, but yeah, you can see it. But as you can see, the box is banged up, which is never a good sign. All right, so let's see. Let's cross our fingers. Let's see if we can go. Ooh, maybe this one might turn out a little bit better. So yeah, that came in this little crinkle up box. It's just a, yeah, you don't care about no box. Um, so let's see. So it is crunched right there. And I say crunched because it's crinkled and scrunched. Uh, I can't tell. That's not thick canvas. It's, I don't know. Alright. I do like the branding on it. It has Treasure Art Studios on it. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of something that you get from like... Uh, CES deals like new frog the just the way like just looking at it. That's what it looks like um, I'm not saying that you know it is or anything, but But yeah, so this is the image it like I said, it's a 30 by 50 And it's supposed to be a little girl uh, I think with a balloon. I can't remember to be honest. I ordered this so long ago. I don't remember what it looks like um, I obviously will add pictures in oh, okay, so Okay, tried to take the plastic off and you know the plastic came off Get rid of that um, Maybe if we try to get okay no, cut. All right so It has 25 colors I'm Gonna pull this back I don't think this is pour glue but uh, we do have some bubbles in this area from the way it was crunched in the bag or in the box. Um, trying to see if it's actually a bubble or if it's just yeah, that's that there is a bubble and so is that. Um, what did I pay for this? Now that's one of the few reasons why I hadn't ordered from this company because uh, the canvases are priced a little higher, and I don't like again I don't mind paying price for if it's worth the price, but there I I didn't want to pay top notch prices and get something that to be honest looks like this. Um, the glue comes out to about here. It has all the information for treasure art studios down here at the bottom their instagram facebook which i will have all of that information in the description box down below um 
it is wrinkled, which, you know, I can flatten that out. Um, I'm going to pause you so I can get pull up the information. All right. So for this 30 by 50 square, I paid $27.50. Um, honestly, I don't think it was worth $27. Like, I don't see anything special or spectacular about it. Um, viewing it from my standpoint here, I can't make out what it is. And yeah, it's only a 30 by 50, but I should be able to make out, like, this is supposed to be a book, I think. Hold on, let me pull the image up on my computer. Because I remember seeing the image and was like, wow, I really, really like this image. And just looking at it here, you can't tell. Like, yeah, so there's supposed to be a little girl with a balloon here. And then this is supposed to be a book. And then you have a tree. And you have, I think it's, this is supposed to be like a leaf. And then around the edge, it's supposed to be blacked out. Now, it, this one will probably look better with drills on it. Like, looking at it like this, it probably doesn't look the best. But, and you guys can sort of see the image a little bit better than I can. But I really, really love this image. And, how bad is that? It's still tacky there, so I, I should be able to fix it. But honestly, for that price, you shouldn't have to fix a canvas before working on it. And, you know, I'm all about quality if I'm paying a good price. And I don't know if, yet again, I've just got a bum canvas or what. But, yeah. I, I'll contact her and send her some pictures and show her how it showed up. Because I'm not going to say I'm not happy with it. I do like it, but... I don't know. So, let's see. Oh, we got that strip of plastic that came off. Alright, so here's our tool kit. And it's a little bit more than basic. It's like Starbucks Frappuccino with an extra shot of espresso. So you got two plates of wax, a white boat with a funnel. Uh, you got a brand new pair of PTESD12 tweezers. I don't, I don't know. I would really like that if these companies, like, they, they spent all that money for that branding on there. One, brand your stuff. Like, get some branded stuff. I love branded stuff. That's just me, though. Like, that's just my suggestion. But it comes with this weird nine placer. It has, like, a little thing right there. It has a nine placer or a ten placer or whatever this is. I think this might be a ten placer. It might be a nine placer. You, you know, call it what you want. It's a three placer on the back of the pen, and it has a yellow squishy on it. All right, but they do get brownie points for this. I do do love baggies. I really do. <laughs> so let's get into the baggie, shall we? But I do like the fact that it looks like a poor glue method. Um, but the quality, like for what I paid, I'm not sure if this is worth it. Like. Maybe I'm being super picky today. So let's see. Let's see if it has all of its colors. Do they at least number the bags? No. All right. So it has the DMC code on the bag. Usually when they do that, they give you like the number on the canvas. And this one just tells you the weight. And it says number 598, which I have no clue what that is. Is that maybe? Yep. That's the. So on the baggie, it says, where's my pen? I'm about to Vanna White this. 598 this is color 400 and it's 15.29 ounces i guess so it doesn't tell you it doesn't give you the number from the canvas so like if they could add like on the side here like this would be number one so put like a number one there like i don't think that would you know hurt but i can do that myself that's just that's just me so let's see We're gonna see. Oh, we got six, six, six. Yes, yes. I love that. Oh, you guys, I spent all morning cleaning, so like my brain is frazzled. I actually have like 
no more cleaning to do. But then a moment I sat down, the mailman's like, I have stuff for you. Uh, all right, so we got some mixed drills in that bag. We got some mixed, mixed drills aren't a big problem. That's not a problem at all. You can just, they look like 3371. So I'll just put them in that bag and then it'll look like I have a 3865 in there too. Either way, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So it seems like all of our, oh, we got stuff falling out. It seems like all the bags are there. I do like the tweezers. We're about to break them out of jail here because I want to see if these are the good ones. They look like the good ones. Come on. Okay, we got them out. Get rid of that trash. Yeah, I just cleaned the house. Ooh, okay. So they are the pointy ones, so be very careful if you get them. But they are the, they're really sturdy too. So they are the good tweezers. They're the good ones. So they get brownie points for the good tweezers. But seriously, brand those tweezers. <laughs> I would love to have branded, like, accessories from these stores like if we're gonna pay that premium price brand your stuff so that we can be like look we got these tweezers from treasure studio arts at least put like a little scribbly flower on it or something come on anyways um let's look at the drill field so we're gonna zoom you in Bloop. can you see the business no we gotta get you we gotta get you all up in the business all right so we're gonna pull this plastic back so there's nothing hindering our view. That really makes me sad too, cause that, that one spot right there, I hope it turns out okay. I'm gonna have to wipe it with a wet wipe so that it doesn't get all weird. So let's see. We're gonna take a good look at these. Forgive me if I'm quiet, but the last few canvases I reviewed, I noticed that some symbols were blurry and I missed it. So I don't wanna miss it this time. So we're gonna take a good look. So far, I don't see there being any issues. And we're going to move you around so you're not looking at the same part of the canvas. Now, I don't know what part of the canvas you're looking at. But look, it says pup, 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 It's like a heartbeat right there. <laughs> but yeah, even though, oh, God, that makes me mad. I'm so sad. Uh, and they're just like... And it wouldn't be so... You're still zoomed in. What are you doing? Get out of there. Get out of the business. All right. And it wouldn't be so bad, but... If it was just like a mark on the canvas, I could understand. If it was just the wrinkling of the canvas, I'd be cool. But there's like a whole spot right there, like... Shipping did not treat it well. And I can't blame shipping on the company because all they do is put it in a box and ship it out. Um, the canvas is thin. Kind of, it. I can't say that. Kind of reminds me of the oil canvas. Uh, it's not a bad canvas. They're actually really sturdy and you can like stretch them. See? Sometimes if you pull at them, it'll knock some of those wrinkles out. But it's not a bad canvas. I just, I think I should have got this image a little bit bigger, but that is what is really making me sad right now. And there's another one here. But I will still work on it. I'll send her some pictures and let her know. Uh, I don't want another canvas or anything. I just want to let her know and make her aware that, you know, this one came with a little boo-boo on it. She might want to put a boo-boo Band-Aid on whatever they're doing at that factory because, yeah. Oh, there's another one right there. Crap. Either way, uh, I say, yeah, sure, go check them out. They're, it's, they're not a bad company. I think it just, I should have ordered this image a little bit bigger. I thought that the size would be good, but let's see if they actually measure two size. Because that's if I can find my tape measure, because Lord knows Maggie runs off with all the things. Oh, wow, she actually put it back. Get out her handy dandy measuring tape all right so it's supposed to be a 30 by 50 
So we're going to stick it edge to edge, edge on the zero, edge. So it's a little bit short of 50. And they tell you to give it like a, what, one inch or one centimeter, whatever, for it. So yeah, it's just, they're just cut a couple of nicks off of where they should be. But it's pretty much to size, because I don't think those little niches will make the image any more clearer here. But again, I won't know what it looks like until I put diamonds on it. I don't think it looks too horribly bad, but guess we'll have to wait and see. Either way, it's not a bad canvas. Um, if I had any suggestions, one, package a little bit better because this is annoying. And the fact that I'm, not, it's not a bad thing for me because I have plenty, believe me, plenty of canvases to keep me busy while I uh, wait for this to flatten itself out or I have to iron it. Um, but if I had any suggestions, I would say maybe possibly use a foam roller. Uh, because if you're going to have like all this pretty designs and stuff up here, you don't want that all wrinkled up in the box around some drills. And because there's nothing really, the drills are in baggy, so they're not going to be hard enough to keep it from bunching up like this. Uh, so, so I would have to like iron this or put it under a mattress, which I don't do the mattress thing. That's to me, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I can't get down with that. I put it down behind Mr. Coffee's suits. He don't wear them. So I'm going to have to let this sit for a couple of weeks under some suits before I even touch it. But if I had to give it a star rating out of five, I'd give it a three and a half. I'm being generous today. All right, so yeah, that's it for me, folks. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down if you don't. Anyways, if you're not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe to see more random videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. With that said, I'm going to bid you adieu and remind you, like I always do, to try, please try, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys. Thank you.